Okay guys, you can see I've removed the midpoint. We're still having that slight issue, although I'm getting much higher voltage. I've turned the power supply up on here to uh, put a little more power through it. So uh, we're pulling about, you know, between 30 and 60 watts. We're getting about 160 volts out of that right now. The inverter's on, it's not pumping. So I think we've got to get about 200 volts for it to start pumping or maybe a little higher. So um, we're putting in about two, just under 2,000 volts in and around there. And it uh, functions fine. So uh, we're getting there. Um, this may have reduced some of the tug of war, but it's still not. It's still not. So there's something else going on here, and that's going through a full wave bridge. I may need to put another diode prior to that because that kickback may be coming back too fast. I don't know. That's uh, that's a possibility. Uh, case in point, works great. It uh, We're getting DC out of that. I don't know the watts. Don't really care at this moment. I'm just showing you a very simple configuration that is producing results. That does drive the inverter. So when we go from one tenth of a joule like we have to 400 fucking joule, you're going to run rooms full of those things. No joke.